Right guys, we have some good and bad news regarding OLED panels on a future MacBook Pro and so let's delve into it. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so the source of the reports are the elect. These guys have deep connections within the display industry and so I do think this information is somewhat legit. So let's get the bad news out of the way first and that's regarding the release date of these OLED MacBooks. So the initial plan was to release these OLED MacBook Pros by 2025 but now the release date has been pushed back indefinitely. Now you may be wondering why this is the case and that brings me on to the good news and that's regarding LG and Samsung. Samsung working on two stack structure OLED displays. Now I know the whole idea of an OLED MacBook might confuse some of you guys since of course brightness levels won't be as high as mini LED and there will be a chance of burning which is more likely on a MacBook since there are many static elements to macOS. Well that's where the two stack structure OLED displays come into play because these will consist of two layers of red, green and blue emission layers which should basically solve the issues we have right now with OLED. So this should be way more durable and should have a longer lifespan and also the display should be super bright. But because Apple is using this fancy OLED tech there's many production and also cost issues Apple needs to sort out before they put these displays into mass production. I mean you might remember a report from a few weeks ago that stated Samsung initially refused to make these two stack displays since it would be very expensive and they would have to invest in a ton of tools for manufacturing. But it seems Apple has finally convinced Samsung probably through the power of money and so yes I'm sure that development on these new panels should be ramping up on schedule in the coming years. Now by the way side note we should see these OLED panels first on the iPad Pro which does make sense since we did see mini LED on the iPad Pro this year first and then it came over to the MacBooks. And so yes expect a similar schedule where we see the iPads debut with the OLED panels in 2024 and then of course we should see the MacBook Pros follow suit shortly. But yeah in general this timeline does make sense. I'm assuming Apple wants to use mini LED for a few years since they did pour a ton of money into mini LED manufacturing and then of course we see OLED on the higher end pro machines and then I'm assuming mini LED stays on the entry level models. Anyways tell me your thoughts on this report in the comments below. Anyways thank you for watching guys make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the code above on details regarding iPhone 14 and on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.